that there's something about being connecting with a piece of land that means you it's like I felt this sense of belonging this sense of and I think and I think for a lot of us well for most of us certainly in the West we're, we're quite nomadic actually in our modern culture yes we live in houses and we go to work every day and we've got this pattern but actually how long do we stay in places you know, we get a new job, we move somewhere else, we get a new relationship, we move somewhere else. It's like, we don't have any more this village. You know, so when you're born, and you know, if our indigenous sort of ancestors, they would have this sense of a village, and you were born into that village, and, and there was, the whole village would be welcoming you. There was a sense of, I belong here, I have a place here, I, I am meant to be here. I, you know, this feeling of belonging, and even if you go away from the village as an adult, even if you went off for 10 years, 20 years, in your psyche, you know the village exists, and you know that you can go back there, and you know that when you go back there, you'll have a place there, that that land is resonant with you, your soul has made a connection with that piece of land, and with the people, and even as the generations die, there's that thread of, well, this is now the son of, you know, da 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 that I knew when I was little. And there's this, this feeling of belonging and this wound that we have, so many of us, of I'm not welcome, I'm going to be rejected, I'm not wanted here. I think it's rooted in that. And it's not even that everyone in the village would just love you unconditionally the whole time, but you have a story with those people. You belong to those people and those people know that.